So today I'm going to talk about uh, data doc. Uh, what is a data doc? So we all know it's a monitoring tool, but actually we don't call it monitoring nowadays. Why? We calling observability tool. Observability. So now the question is, what is the observability then? So this is the one of the concept which has recently coined with the introduction of Kubernetes and container. So if you want to monitor everything, for example, you want to gather the matrix, matrices, uh, you can call it infra monitoring. Uh, that earlier uh, data dog was very popular in it, but now we are adding logs monitoring also, HP monitoring also, synthetic monitoring also, RAM also. Okay, so all these types of uh, data you want to collect and then uh, create alerts and dashboard. So that is something which we call it observability. So earlier in monitoring, we were collecting only infrastructure, then alert and dashboard, something like that we were doing. But now we have to collect all the data, put it, put it at one place, and then create alerts and dashboard. This is called observability. So Datadog will help you to do the observability. So yeah, uh, Datadog is a monitoring tool. Uh, now this is the paid software. And how data dog works, that's uh, something which uh, uh, you want to uh, understand that. So here, uh, if you look at this data dog architecture, so everything we should have uh, in a SaaS model. This is the data dog website, okay? And uh, that means you don't have to set up any data dog server and a client or something like that. And this is your infrastructure, which you can keep it anywhere, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud or private cloud. And this is your VM and here you install the agent. This is infra agent, this is a APM agent and other, other kind of agents also. So install the agent and this agent send the data to Datadog and Datadog store all this data in your account here at the SaaS based model. And you as a SR engineer or DevOps engineer, uh, look at those data and visualize it and create alerts and dashboards. So this is very simple SaaS based model you have agent control, no control over the uh, server, which is a SaaS model, and then you can do whatever you want with the data explorations, alerting, dashboarding, or something like that. Make sense, all of you? All of you? Yes. Okay, so now first I'll collect the metrics. So the question is how do we collect the metrics? Nothing great. You have to install the agent, so let's do that. So let's go to the data dog here. This is the website. 14 days trial period is available, which you can use it free of cost. Uh, let me see if I have some accounts. Mm, and this account, I think, uh, is expired actually. Okay. Uh, so this is the older account, I guess. And it was expired. So what to do? Nothing great. I'll register a new one. So 18, right? 19. Log out. Hmm. So go to the data dog again website. Uh, open up. Now get started free. I uh, log out. Now this is the region, the place where you will store the, all of your matrices, logs, and all. I'll select the US one because that's the first region which got set up. App 90 at the rate of devopschool.com Rajesh Kumar and devops school and here uh, you can set up a password and sign up there's a 14 days free trial account you can get it and they are asking hey what you are monitoring so I don't just don't care too much just feed it some servers next registration process done so now agent setup so that's where you want uh, that some servers to install the agent so this can be windows linux or whatever it is so if you look at this website here uh, here these options are available So these are the operating system if you look at it. So here you can install the agent for infrastructure. Okay. 
this we call it infra agent uh, matrices you will collect different different types of matrices and if you look at the downside you can install the agent in container also so if you see that here these are the options container the agent uh, as a container so that you can run it if you look at look at the bottom side these options which you have so i think you can make out this you want to install agent in a hundreds of server so ansible playbook puppet module or chef cookbooks you will have it using that you can get it work done so yeah uh, right now what a machine i'm having so i'm having one machine which is which is uh here so let me open up and uh, I think something got sent to so zero six six seven nine nine five yeah no thanks Yeah, Jenkins and Kubernetes. So I think this is IP address. This machine I created last day, I guess, uh, for some demo. I don't remember though. So here and username. And what is username? I think this one and password. So this is the Ubuntu machine. It can be any other machines also. And uh, done. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So now um, here, here uh, you have machines ready. And now let's install the uh, what is it? Data log. So, uh, just let me refresh. Uh, wait a second. Uh, infrastructure integration agent. Here. Yeah. So I don't like this uh, navigation left side. So let me try to push it up, which is not going actually. Something problem. Okay, well we'll check it out later. Ah, now it's game. Okay, so this one I I like the navigation top. Okay, so here this is the UI and click on the one two and uh, here you have to select the api key authentications and i have one key which got created with account you can create more key if you want so this i selected and copy this whole code this will install the agent and start the agent in your machine done okay so i installed the agent it was so simple now many many commands you should know for example let's say you know uh, data doc agent so here uh, see install and remove agent here you have one to how to install send to us how to install so all these instructions you have it um, you should spend some time here and these are the uh, these are the commands to start stop these are the commands to look at the logs of agent and these are the commands to check the what you are monitoring with so yeah now agent is installed now if you see that this command to stop 
this command will start and this command you please remember that and this one to check which is enabled and watch it disabled that's all so can we go ahead and check this so go to infrastructure list here and uh, now you are uh, right now it has not come so just wait for it In meanwhile you can check the status and it's running so just wait for a few seconds it should be done okay so you can see meanwhile you can see the rest of the status it will help you so some commands like some commands like what is this here so here HTTP uptime network memory these all are enabled now let me go to datadog and refresh still it has to ah, see it's coming so now it's coming slowly and you can see that here so one host it has detected but it's not send any data so far so meanwhile you can run remaining commands here so you can see the quantity check and see what is enabled or not which kind of monitoring this is just to check okay. config check you can config you can see that what configurations you have in datadog so these are the configurations which you have in datadog yaml file which is a configuration file and so so on so now let me refresh one more time uh, go to infrastructure now it has come so see here infrastructure list and here it is linux box it has come data is still let to come you see the jenkins host name and now you see that here all the information matrix detail you will have it here so uh, still it's coming up but uh, you can see that cpu memory and all other details in the long way so this is the way we install the agent and validate and then get going. Are you comfortable with it? All of you have any questions? Any questions? All of you? Rajesh, when you mentioned metrics, um, I was envisioning like it's the project metrics. Uh, so for example, how do we track uh, like, you know how many releases were like successful and uh, you know how uh -huh. the project did? No, those are not metrics. No metrics are uh, for monitoring infrastructure monitoring. Okay, so this tool is basically CD. for uh, which metrics Monitor. exactly? Infrastructure monitoring, on the monitoring for servers, applications, network logs. Okay, 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 uh, got it. This is for the production servers. Production. Servers. Okay, so now you see that a lot of data is coming. You want to explore this data? Here you have a, a explorer options. So here, this is the matrix data right now. So CPU, this you can see here uh, from last five minutes. And you see CPU. This is uh, if you want uh, memory. Uh, so here, buffer free memory. See, this is the memories. Disk, disk, disk free. This so that is free. So like that, you can explore that matrix and you are, the agent is sending all the data from this machines to Datadog. And this is you, you are browsing the Datadog. Make sense, all of you? All of okay, you? so without the Datadog, how, how was it uh, being done uh, like in the traditional method? How uh, were you are, tracking uh, all of this? Earlier, we were using Nagios sort of tools. Nagios, uh, there are a lot of monitoring tools are there. Prometheus is there, Javix is there, Datadog is there, New Relic is there, Splunk is there, Grafana is there, uh, you know, Elastic is so many tools are in the market uh, as of now in the monitoring, production monitoring. So, Datadog is one of the leading ones. 
Okay. And uh, Rajesh, at the beginning of the class, you did mention uh, something about like uh, SAS. So wh what does that particularly mean? Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.